one of the important things to remember, do not spray paint in your kitchen. The paint floats. We're going to paint a few things. Um, say you're mad. You use black if you're mad. Okay. Don't hold the, the bottle too close. You only want to lightly dust uh, and create a little dimness of color. That's it. Now if you want to, you can add a little neon in the middle. Okay, now that's ready for painting. It doesn't take much. Another, another look if you're kind of angry is, or you want a forceful sign, is to do a bullseye. All right, again, the trick is do not use too much paint or it'll bubble your paper. Uh, if you want, I do a lot of these types. Okay, where you're simply adding a little color to your board, you know, that's enough to add color. Um, you can add more, you know, whatever your theme is, go for it. Now, one of the things you can do is go to the teacher's supply store, Dollar Tree, buy some stencils, some push pins, put them in there, and you can see you got hearts, you can make dollar signs, hands, whatever, and then, and you can do this with the initials for your organization, too. Watch how cool this is. There. That's all it takes, right there. And you have a cool, you have a cool sign. If you put black and white lettering on that, it'll look great. The other thing is freelance, okay? If you want to just put a few colors around, Mix them up, and there's no rules, but except to add a little bit of color. Now, again, that's not a lot of color, but it's enough so your sign will pop. Always make your lettering dark, preferably black. And there you are. Two minutes worth of, of background painting, and it'll make your signs pop. When you are making painted signs, you want them to pop, your, your lettering should probably be in black with highlights and other colors. The paint to go get is acrylic paint, not tempera paint. Acrylic paint, it's at the craft stores, they're $2 a bottle. The trick to this is using brushes. You're, you're going to want two brushes, um, a wide one and then a slightly more narrow one for the actual lettering. Um, this will allow you to do some highlighting. These are about five to ten dollars each. Don't let them dry out. If you let them dry out, they're ruined. If you don't, they'll last you for years. When you are trying to do lettering, first off, every letter is um, multi-strokes. Don't try to make the O in one big stroke, okay? For one thing, don't worry about straight lines. Draw your lines just roughly by eye with a pencil and don't worry about it if you're not perfect. Who cares? There's no quality control in sign making. When you go to do the O's, O's are, let me try, take one of these. I forgot to tell you to add a little water, a couple of drops. If when you're adding, um, when you're adding or pulling the paint and it kind of feathers and it's hard to pull, it's because you don't have enough water in it, okay? So add a few drops, it'll make it easier to do good sets, clean lines, etc. When you do O's, two, two lines, we're going to do about three inch high letters. So just eyeball it, okay? Down one side, you can pick up more paint if you want to, brush it off again then, down the other. You, can, you certainly know you can make a cue out of that. One thing that happens to people is, is they let the letters get too wide. How do you stop that? Put the sides of your letters. If you know you want them about the same size as the O, this is going to be an M. Put your sides in first. Again, put your sides in first and then the center of your, of your letter. For things like R's or B or P, again, multi-strokes. 
take it and hold your brush come down halfway get more paint if you want to okay there's your P add a tail you've got an R a secret with doing an A is make your A and draw the cross down very low okay probably maybe not as low as that but you will find times when you really need to run it low and the secret with an S don't try to do the whole thing just make it kind of eh, squiggle a snake and then put a tail on it now you've got a, a functional S and that works for C's too okay so add, add a tail and that's all there is to lettering it's not hard a bit trying to do your sign Figure out, if you have a long word like solidarity, you want to do it horizontally. I don't have any long words. We're going to do stop war on workers. So we're going to do it vertically. All I do, I know I want three inch letters. I just roughly draw in stop war on workers. That's all I do. And if you want to, you can, you can pencil in letters just really lightly. I don't need to because I've done these sort of for so long, okay, but um, just it might not be a bad idea uh, for you to pencil in very lightly, don't, and you don't erase it later, but just very lightly sketch in your, your lettering, and then if you're off, by the time you get to one side, then you know what, enough to start your word over a little bit farther. Now, we are going to do this multicolored, make it pop. So we're going to do an undercoat of red with your wide brush. Whoops. Remember I said it, it would feather if, it, if the paint was not um, thinned out enough? That's what I mean. So we're going to do stop. Two sides to the O. The P straight down. Dip a little more paint. That's it. Then you can paint, if your paint isn't too, um, isn't too watery, you can go back and paint it right now, or you can wait till this dries and then paint over it. My paint is, is going to be okay, so I'm going to do this. Put a little tail on it. And, and don't stretch your paint too far. Dip in, grab some more paint. Stop. Okay. With your W, put both sides down first so your W doesn't get stretched out too much. Then do the middle. With the A, put both sides down so the width is right. And then cross it eh, down a little bit lower than you, you would expect. With the R, again, pick up more paint between it. Pick up more paint and brush it off. Sap war. O again, two, two strokes. Stop war on your two sides, draw it down, and workers, draw your two sides first, two sides to your O, R, K, E, don't, don't draw, draw your E out too far. That's a big problem. People make the um, legs of it way too long. Keep them short. R. And then with the S again, just make it kind of an oval. Do the best you can. And then add a, add a tail on it. And it, it looks fine. Now, to add a little oomph, you can do yellow. You can do... Uh, that's all I would do. Stop war on workers, that sign is done. And now you're ready to staple these to a stick. We, the reason you do that is because people will not hold a sign up unless you have a stick. If you have a stick, they'll hold it up for the entire rally. I have been to rallies where no, nothing was visible because people were holding it at their waistline can't train some people. Okay, this is a five gallon stick. Um, this is from Sherwin-Williams. Uh, you can get them multiple 
multitude of places, 30 cents to 50 cents each. You want these back. Um, they're reusable. Um, and they're considerably heavier and longer than your regular paint sticks. All I do is pop it in, leave six or seven inches, pop it. Like so these are three eighths inch staples. So they won't go, they'll go through the sign, but they won't go through the wood. Okay, there's your sign, ready to go. Now, if it was windy, you might want to glue this on with a hot glue gun. Um, however, that is hard to get it off then. It ruins your board, etc. Watch how slick this is. You haven't ruined your board, and this is reusable. So that's why I suggest using uh, staples. Ordinarily, I'm not allowed to do this because in our family, um, this is considered a power tool, and I'm not allowed to use power tools. Best does it. Have fun.